Hello and welcome to Netlink Daily. It's October 16th and it's time for the news. WD Purple Storage offers all frame technology built for always on HD surveillance security systems. So Apple held their October event and lots to talk about. Here's a brief rundown of everything in the form of a bam, 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 lightning round. Apple Pay is set to launch next Monday the 20th. The developer kit for the Apple Watch comes in November. OSX Yosemite is free for download today. The iPad 2 Air is 6.1 millimeters thin, has an improved retina display, has an A8X CPU, added functionality for time lapses, slow-mo recording, better front selfie camera, added AC wireless, and finally a Touch ID sensor. The iPad mini 3 was also announced. Pre-orders for both iPads start tomorrow and start to ship end of next week. And finally, the new iMac has a Retina 5K display at a massive resolution of 5120 by 2880. These new iMacs ship today with a Core i5 CPU, Radeon R9 M290X graphics, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 1 terabyte Fusion drive that are all standard. Whew, that was a lot of Apple news. How about something else other than Apple? Yeah? Arcos, a French company that brought the youths of yesteryear portable media players, is now throwing their hat in the VR ring. The Arcos VR glasses is a Rift-like device that supports smartphones between 5 to 6 inches and will apparently be available sometime in November. The real kicker in the pants? Well, it comes at a price tag of 25 pounds. That's a monstrous difference considering that the DK2 is $350 and the Samsung Gear VR is going to be $200. And finally, Sennheiser is one of the first companies to jump in on a Project Aura Block prototype. The Phone Blocks blog states that the German audio company has started the hardware development of a prototype for an audio block. There's not a lot of information here since it's still very early, but I for one am still super stoked to see that Project Aura is still relevant, even though I'm one of the few people here who's excited to see what this could mean for the future of the mobile phone industry. What do you guys think of today's stories? Discuss down below in the comments or on the official thread on the NCIX forum. Links will also be provided as well. Magic School Bus! It's that time of year where we take pumpkins and turn them into jack-o'-lanterns. And this year we're holding a pumpkin carving contest on the NCIX forum. We also did a time lapse of NCX Anthony, me, and NCX Keys all carving our very own jack lanterns. Check the links for the contest details and also for that video. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. on camera. <laughs> <laughs>